Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're a little under 18 hours away from the start of NFL week number 13, Thanksgiving Day, the Thanksgiving triple header that will feed all of us, you know, really, if you haven't been fed by Feast Week in college basketball already, then what are you doing with your life, you know? Um, I'm making this during, actually, when the Mau well, actually, the Maui Invitational just ended, um, because Auburn just beat Memphis, but uh, the Battle for Atlantis is going on. There's all sorts of, you know, stuff going on. There's some women's games going on. There's some college volleyball that I'm missing out on just to record this. You know, a very big college volleyball matchup as a top three matchup. You know, missing out on that just to record this because I was lazy earlier this morning. I didn't even wake up and do this when I needed to. But you know, I'm recording it now, so it is what it is. Again, thank you all for 300 subscribers. I didn't really manifest it into existence. You know, like I was really gunning for this goal this year, but that was my main goal. You know, this year was to get to 300 subscribers. And I'm glad I made it. So I hope we continue the momentum. I've got lots of stuff in store for Thanksgiving. I'm going to be posting on Thanksgiving. I'm going to be posting food on Thanksgiving, you know, to prepare for these games as usual. Um, I even just posted something just now, you know, just for the night because I was kind of lazy. I've been kind of lazy all week. I've been spending money on food all week, you know. But now I don't have any more money to spend, so now I have no excuse. But anyway, week 12, week 12 of the NFL season, you know, really kind of made things a little bit more murky because of how weird it was. You know, the Browns and the Steelers had a snow game. And the Steelers get stunned by Jameis Winston and the Browns in the snow. I mean, Mike Tomlin, you know, he has to be livid. There was some plays in this game that the Steelers, you know, had the opportunity to make the plays for, and they just could not get it. There's a questionable call. You know, Mike Tomlin, you know, do you go, do you accept the penalty that makes it fourth and two, or do you keep the Browns in the field? Mike Tomlin ultimately ends up choosing the option of keeping the Browns on the field for third and seven, you know, after initially declining that option and thus the Steelers lose anyway. <laughs> um, like the Texans continue to befuddle me. They still lead the AFC South and they lead by two games, you know, over the Colts, you know, but it's starting to worry me now because again, CJ Stroud has not looked the best and the Titans were able to exploit that, you know, and when the Titans offense can get something going, they were able to get something going. It just doesn't make any sense at this point, you know. Now the NFC, now the AFC South, you know, is starting to look a little bit suspect to me. Um, the Vikings, they get Daniel Jones. They win the Daniel Jones soup stakes. They sign him for three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars for the rest of the year. They beat the Bears in overtime, barely, you know, even though they should have won a regulation. Really, how do you blow a lead, you know? <laughs> you know, <laughs> how do you blow a lead like that? But that's neither here nor there. You know, the Cowboys and the Commanders, totally normal game. It was 13 to 9 with like five minutes left in the fourth, and then all hell broke loose. We're talking two Cowboys kick returns for touchdowns. You know, one, you know, one was just the botched snap, the botched, you know, return initially by Turpin, and then he takes it back. The other, after Austin Seibert missed an extra point, you know, after the Terry McLaurin, you know, basically just outran the entire Cowboys defense, you know, Seibert misses the PAT. And, I mean, the Cowboys, you know, were up 20-9 to nine at one point, and it just turned into this 34-26 game in five minutes of, 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 of game time. Inexplicable. But the Cowboys, you know, just – Somehow got it done. I it was an ugly game. I'll say that much. Until those final five minutes, it was an ugly game. Um, Commanders, I, I I don't understand at this point. This was supposed to be a win for them pretty easily, and yet they squandered it away. They've lost three straight now. Dolphins, they are firmly back in the playoff hunt. Firmly, you know. Patriots, although, you know, they tried, it's just not enough. And, you know, like I said, like I said, the Chiefs were probably going to, you know, just kind of pull a rabbit out of their ass and, 
they'll just barely survive the Panthers. That's what they exactly what they did. That's exactly what they did. They barely survived the Carolina Panthers. Barely. Giants, terrible. You lose 37. The Colts, still pretty mid. They lost to the Lions pretty easily. Broncos continue to win. Good for them. Now, the Dolphins are trailing them now for that last playoff spot. So now, you know, games become key in the final couple weeks, you know, as we're entering December now. We are entering the month of December. And the Dolphins, you know, they play on Thanksgiving night against Green Bay which is probably the best game of that day by far. Um, Broncos play on Monday night against the Browns, who just beat the, the Steelers. The the NFC West now, you know, the 49ers got absolutely blasted by Josh Jacobs and the, and the Green Bay Packers. You know, Braylon Allen just isn't that guy. I'm sorry. I know Brock Purdy and Bosa are out, you know, and they'll probably be out for like another week, but like, 49ers may be cooked at this point. The defense, you know, Fred Warner's playing with an injured ankle. He's been playing on an injured ankle for two months. The Eagles and the Ravens decide to use their running backs and just absolutely take a doo-doo all over L.A. I mean, I mean, Saquon with 255 against the Rams? My God. Derrick Henry with 140, although, you know, there were some drops like Quentin Johnston. You know, I mean... Really, just get that guy out. Get that guy out of L.A., man. Get him out of there, you know. Get him out of there. Just get him out of there. Let Ladd McConkey be the guy for the L.A. Chargers, please. You know, you know. I mean, it just is what it is. Yeah, the Seahawks lead the NFC West now because they beat the Cardinals 16-6 in, in less than two weeks now. You know, basically like 10 days, 10 days or so, the Cards and the Seahawks will face off again. You know, it's going to be a good one. You know, really good game. The Seahawks were able to use their defense for once, you know, and get the win. Again, tomorrow, in, again, less than 18 hours or so, we got the Bears, Lions, the Giants, Cowboys, and the Dolphins, Packers on Thanksgiving. It's going to be beautiful. Um, Bears still technically have, like, an outside shot at the playoff spot, but it's, like, very slim at this point. Um, you know, they've lost five straight up to start forward too. The Cowboys technically have a small chance to begin against the Giants. You know, the Giants have looked terrible. You know, really, those are like the side dishes to the Dolphins Packers game. It's going to be Tua versus Jordan Love. You know, a high fly Miami offense that's finally high flying again. It's a gritty Packers team. You know, that can win some games. They've been able to play some really good defense. You know, again, you know, the, the, the Lions, even though they dominated the Packers, they were only able to score 24, you know, against this Packers defense. You know, Raiders Chiefs is on Black Friday. I mean, it's a game that's going to happen. I mean, the Chiefs are basically a lock for the playoffs at this point. Um, the Raiders are just. They're terrible, but I mean, they could they could pull off the thing and win a game again on Black Friday. I think that'd be interesting, you know, be pretty interesting. Can the Texans, can the real Texans, please stand up? Can they stand up, please? I'm begging you. They're playing the Jags on Sunday on the road. They got to get this win. They got to get themselves back on track. They've lost their last three too. You know, they've lost like three of their last five or whatever. It's been rough for the Texans, to be quite honest with you. Chargers Falcons is a sneaky good one. You know, the Falcons are also squandering their lead in the NFC South because the Bucks are gaining right back on them. Mike Evans just came back. And, you know, the Bucks just played the Giants. And I mean that this this is key. You know, this is a key game. You know, can the Chargers you know, get back to themselves. They didn't look like themselves this past week. You know, the defense really wasn't really wasn't doing, you know, the greatest against the Ravens, you know. Uh, Seahawks, they could, you know, continue their lead in the in the in the NFC West by beating the Jets if they could if they can do that. That's good for them because again, it's the Jets, they're terrible. Um, commanders, hopefully they don't lose the Titans. That'd be crazy. Burrow, Joe Burrow, Joey B, Joe Burr, 
And, and those Cincinnati Bengals, they have to win against the Steelers, another team that's, you know, trying to keep themselves in the playoff race, you know, trailing the Broncos right now for that seventh seed. Um, Steelers, you know, they've been kind of eh. But, you know, the Steelers have been able to win the games they've been able to win. You know what I'm saying? Um, and for the Rams, you know, another team that's trying to stay with the Seahawks and the Cards, you know, they got to beat the Saints. Uh, Bucks, they play the Panthers. The Panthers are pretty bad, but they can play in some inspiring football when need be. Again, the NFL is any given Sunday around here. So, you know, Cards, Vikings, sneaky good game. Kyler Murray versus Sam Darnold. There's really no storyline with the whole Daniel Jones thing there. It's just kind of. It's kind of there to be there. You know, it's just a little added bonus to this game, you know, to end the Daniel Jones saga for a while. And, I mean, Cards Vikings should be a good one. Um, definitely paired it up with the Chargers Falcons game. It's going to be a good one on Sunday. That's probably two of the best games of the early slate. 49ers Bills is probably going to be a snow game. Can the 49ers get themselves back on track? I highly doubt it. That defense has not looked good the entire season. You know, there have been some games where there have been some clear holes, and the Packers game just showed off another case of that. Again, Browns, Broncos is going to be Monday night. Can the Browns do it again behind famous Jameis, the mean master itself, the man who eats W's, Mr. 30 for 30? You know, can he pull off another upset with that Browns, Broncos game? And that would throw things into a little bit of a chaotic situation. You know, in the AFC, if the Browns were to beat the Broncos, that would throw things into a little bit of chaos. Again, I don't really like the seventh seed in the playoffs. I don't really like a seventh seed in the playoffs, but I mean, I've grown used to it at this point. Same thing with college football playoff. I'm like, I'm kind, I'm kind of, you know what? I'm kind of just like, it's a thing that's gonna happen. I'll talk about that next week and everything. But yeah, Eagles Ravens, biggest game of the day by far on Sunday. Cap off your December 1st right. Cap off your Thanksgiving weekends right with this game. It's going to be a good, good dessert, you know, to finish Thanksgiving feast that we have. I mean, it's going to be Saquon Barkley versus Derrick Henry, the top two rushers in the NFL. You know, Lamar Jackson versus Jalen Hurts, two of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Two of the best defenses. Well, actually, no, I take that back. I take that back. The Ravens defense isn't actually very good at all. I take that back. <laughs> Eagles defense isn't really that great either. But I mean, they make the play. But I mean, both defenses make the plays needed. You know, everything like that. It should be a fun, fun game. It's going to be basically the only game that matters in that late window. It's the only game that's going to be nationally televised in the late window, unless you're like. You know, um, those other couple games, you know, that are listed, the Bucks, Panthers, or the Rams, Saints, you know, that's going to be late too, you know, unless you're in those areas. But, um, yeah, Eagles, Ravens, going to be one hell of a game. I can't wait. I'm liking, you know, some of these, you know, just nationally televised doubleheaders, you know, where it's just like one game that makes a whole lot of sense to the entire country, and that, that just makes more sense, to be quite honest with you. <clears throat> You're trying to, you know, fin uh, finagle like three or four games, you know, in, in the same, you know, doubleheader, you know, and stuff like that. But, yeah, week 13, we're almost there. We're two-thirds of the way through, and we got another third of the pie to go through, man. I can't wait because December is finally about to be here. I hope you got your jackets, your parkas, whatever you need to get yourselves ready for a cold, cold winter. And I'll get on out y'all's hair and see you later, probably on Saturday, because I forgot to do um, the Feast Week video earlier this week, so I'm going to probably do it on Saturday. Yeah. So, good night. Hope you all have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you tomorrow for some food.